Well, look, if we can create on the foreshores of the harbour magnificent hotels, tall ships, and a casino, uh, what about culture? Have we really, as a city, recognised that what we have in the warehouses, locked away and unseen, is really a magnificent contribution to the culture of this country? That in itself seems to me to be an important reason why we should be trying to open up that harbourside space. Well, Jeff, let me just say um, who could disagree. Um, but uh, first, may I just share in the acknowledgement of the traditional owners of the land on which we stand, Gadigal people, the Eora Nation, and uh, thank you very much for your welcome to country. Can I just say how delighted I am to be here with uh, my good friend Michael Kirby, uh, you Jeff for your role, um, and uh, can I thank Darren McGuire for what I, what I know um, is the effort that he is putting in to ensure that uh, uh, we move forward in relation to the siren collection. Can I say to Gordon and his family, uh, as well as others present, um, there is a story that is being told elsewhere in Australia. And some of it's even being brought to Sydney. You see it in the shops around the harbour. Um, some people think that Indigenous art um, are just simply the dot paintings. Um, or maybe from, uh, I assume that's from Urukala, um, uh, maybe the bark paintings. And they are a very important part of our national collection. And if you go to Canberra, you'll see in the National Gallery, uh, examples of much of that. Um, you'll go to the Northern Territory in Darwin, you'll see much of that. Um, what I lament is that this is a continuous story and there are many elements to it. Um, from my period as uh, Minister from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Affairs, Indigenous Affairs, different titles at different times, um, I had the opportunity of seeing so much of the diversity of what is in fact um, uh, our First Peoples and their history and their heritage. And uh, Gordon has chronicled that for us here in Sydney. And it is an absolutely unique collection. Um, and it's not what you see when you go to the, um, uh, the, the, the National Galleries. And I think um, for this great city, uh, for this collection not to be recognised as ours, um, gives us a very, very important cause on which to work. And we only have a short time frame. I mean, that's, that's the difficulty. Um, in prospect is if we don't find a keeping place, I, I like the terminology you use, um, and, a term, and, and, and for it to be kept on a just basis. Um, then the likelihood is that it will be lost. It will be broken up, divided, sold off. And that essentially means uh, that the totality of that story will be lost. And I think that would be an absolute disaster. Uh, and all of us have a, I think, a responsibility. I take the opportunity as I can to remind people in government that we need to do something about it. Barangaroo may well be. Um, the place, um, but there may be others. Uh, one, one doesn't close one's ideas uh, to that, so I think it needs to be something that is indicative and representative of the totality of our great city. Um, and Michael has, I think, uh, spelled that out in a way, in a way which uh, is better than I can. Um, and uh, I simply encourage uh, amongst all of us to use every linkage we have uh, to push this message on every opportunity. And um, can I thank Daryl for what he has been doing? Uh, he's been uh, he's been assiduous in relation to it. He has been talking to all of his colleagues. He's spoken again to the Premier today, um, and uh, his generosity in ensuring that we have this location would not to be lost on us. Um, Daryl, we very much appreciate um, what you're doing. Uh, thank you very much. Um, the challenge is before us all.